Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create an auto clicker um, you know, with Python. So for that, you need to go to your folder and create a file uh, and name it uh, and that ends with .py. If not, it will not work. So after that, you create it. Uh, you need to go to your uh, to this file with your editor and start editing. So I already started to doing this to so that the video um, doesn't take long time. Uh, so for example, here I um, add the packages. So the first package is tk uh, inter. Uh, this is to create the Python a graphical interface. Uh, then there is the PyDirect input. This is to uh, simulate uh, key keys, uh, key clicks. Then I import time. But I also Im import keyboard. This is to see if it's if a key is clicked or not. If a key is pressed or not. Then there is threading. This is in my case. This is for uh, so that the app doesn't lag when I'm going to call a function. So to do so, you need to go to your terminal. You need to write all this to your file uh, and then uh, write pip install tk for the first one. So I already have it, so it says require requirement are already satisfied. And then you will do the same thing for the others uh, like this. I already have all those things, but you will do the, uh, for each of them. After that, you did that, I'm going to go down and then create something let's call it app it's equal to tk so tk it will be the tk entry this is the graphical interface of python not for python then we're going to give a size for our window make it so we'll write up dot geometry and inside this you will uh, put for example me i would like it to be uh, 600 by 600 the window so now if we run it will not work uh, because we don't call it, call it. So to do so we need to, uh, to do app die dot main loop and now it should work. So if we run it it will open something like this. So now we're gonna close it by control C in the terminal. Yeah. Uh, after that, you we do, did this. I already have a plan of how my auto clicker should look like. So I draw it on paint. So I would like to have an imp one input to enter the speed, one to enter the key that I want to help uh, pressed so that uh, the click start. I want the start button and the close button to close the window and can I close the function too that we're gonna call. So first we're going to create the click input, so um, the speed input, so we will name it click, oops, click input will be equal to, we're going to create an entry, this is in uh, tk enter, then you write up or the thing that you put here, comma, and then I'm going to choose a width Oops. my weight will be equal to let's say 30 and now let's take a look okay uh, why it doesn't work oh yeah in order to uh, to see it you need to write click input dot pack so we will create like a visual thing so now if we stop this one we launch it again Okay, yes, we can write, there's an input to write numbers. After that, you need to go bottom and then create like the key input to write the key that we want to hold. So the key will be equal to the same thing. So you write this and then you will write key input dot pack. Uh, yeah. Mm. So now we will have two inputs. One will be in the feature for the 
speed and the second one for the key that we want to use. After doing that, we're going to press the start button. So I will call start button will be equal to TTK. So um, this is another extension which comes with the package of TK enter dot button up comma and then we then write text will be equal to and inside this you can write the thing that you want uh, in my case it will be start so I write start and then when we're gonna click on this button it will run a command so the command will be equal and now we will use the uh, the thing that we just import the package that we import in order to uh, to not lag. So I'm gonna write three thing dot three thread and then the target will be equal to our function uh, our dev in Python. But in uh, JavaScript is a function dot start. So we're gonna start this. Here, let's create a function and name it start dev. Yeah, or without this. So now we go up here and then we're gonna create a dev. It's a function that will be called start dev. Uh, inside this uh, thing, we're gonna create a while through so that it runs to infinite, let's say, until some, something went wrong or it stopped. We, uh, we click on the stop button. Here we're gonna play, uh, go and take, we're gonna create a variable that's gonna go and take the input of what we put here, the number that we put in the input of, of this. So to do that, you need to go and, for example, call it click speed will be equal to click input dot get so we're gonna get the value of that and then we're gonna also gonna get the keyboard the key input so key input uh, no. let's say keyboard uh, the D will be equal to key input dot get so the value of the keyboard now we're going to create a if sentence so if keyboard so we're going to call our keyboard the package that we just import to go and check if the key is pressed so if keyboard dot read k so it's going to read the key is equal to uh, to equal keyboard with uh, this one so if it's equal to the value of the key input we will do something an action for example in my case we're going to uh, call pi direct input so this is the other package which will stimulate key presses uh, but this time here we're going to choose a, in order to make like a speed a click speed we're gonna, um, uh, write pi direct dot pose will be equal to this click speed so for example um, if the key speed it's like two it will be uh, one click every two seconds then we go down and then call again pi direct input dot click so every two seconds you can do a click but now if we run this it will not work because uh, <clears throat> to, uh, the dot post it's uh, like a, t a number and in Python the numbers are, are floats so it will not work in order to it to work you need to you know, write float and then inside the float you need to put uh, the variable so yeah 
so now I think it's pretty much it. So now if we run the application, oh, there is not the start button. Oh yeah, because I forgot to create the pack. So up here, down here, we're gonna write start button that pack. And normally it should work. I hope. Yes, it worked. So every uh, each time that we will click on start, it will call this function, this tab. It will go and check uh, which key we put here. For example, if we put Q, it will go check if Q is pressed. If it's the case, it will go and check the float, uh, the number that we put here, and we'll do the clicks. So in my case, if we put 0 0.001, so the lower you put, the the more the speed gonna be high. The click per second is gonna be high. So I will put this click start, and then let's go and test it here. So if I press Q, as you can see, it's doing really, really <laughs> high speed. So whoa, 25, 27 click per second, which is huge. And now. We want to stop it. If we just close, uh, it will not work. So we're going to go here and uh, type Control C. Now to avoid doing uh, Control C every time, what we're going to do is that we're going to create the stop, the close button. So for that, we'll just copy the start button and then call it stop. And in the text, we will write close. And in the command, what we're going to do, we're going to destroy our app, our um, our application, so our window. To do so, you go here and you write app.destroy. So every time that we click that button, the app will disappear and will get destroyed. So now if we test it, Let's write, for example, uh, w, w, and here let's put two. Click start. We're gonna go to our website. So okay. To yeah, one click every two seconds. So it's working. Now when I want to close it, I click close. And let's go and try if, to see if it's working. One second. Uh, no. It's not it's no longer working as you can see and here it says that yeah, it's done so that was it for the auto clicker i hope you enjoyed after the, uh, i also did a second auto clicker that i put it online that everyone can uh, download and use it um, so to download it you can go to this webs uh, this website that i will put in the description and uh, you can download uh, the application. This is an exe file, so everyone can open it. Uh, if you want to contribute to this project, I will also put a GitHub link where you can, uh, where you can also go and copy the, the source code. Yeah, so um, um, before ending the video, I'll show how to uh, download from here. So we'll click download. You're gonna choose where you want to download to be. I will, to be, I will choose desktop and click on save. So now we're gonna see. We go on desktop as you can see here. Double click on this. It will say, um, "Well, it might be a, a harmful application, which is false, uh, a false positive." So we're gonna create a leak runner anyway. And then there is the allies antivirus that will scan the application. Uh, so it's virus free, don't worry, there is no malware and nothing. No, good news, there is nothing. So you will do like this. So if you ask why, um, yourself why Windows says that it might be a non wanted application or virus, it's because in order to uh, 
it to be safe, you need to buy a certificate or something, and I don't want to do it because I need to pay. So yeah, this is my application that you guys can download, uh, or you can also contribute by adding new th new options by the GitHub. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, please uh, put the like button and bye.